What's going on, Planet SOM family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button for me. This is Drinks with JD. So, why the name Deep Side? Yeah. So, the name Deep Side. It's 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 been a journey to get here. Okay. Cause I, I originally started off with the name D Sidewalk. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a guy in my middle school. Yeah. Cause I as I told you I've been <laughs> rapping since I was like yeah. 13 years old. Why D Sidewalk? <laughs> I've been rapping. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah. rapping since yeah. I was like. Oh, Wait, no, Why D Sidewalk? Why D Sidewalk? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's this guy, and I, I really don't like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't, I'm not trying to platform him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but his name was D Street. Oh, like, okay, and he okay, had like okay. a hat that said D Street. And okay. Was, he was like a fake gang member. Okay, like, okay, like, okay. like, like he was in, we were in seventh grade. Yeah, this guy yeah. was not banging on anybody. Yeah. <laughs> but like he was pretending that yeah. he was, and he was acting like he was all hard. Yeah. And so, like, like we were good friends at the time. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna make my name D Side. Yeah, yeah, D Side. And so that was the, that was more like Instagram yeah, handle yeah. for a minute because his his Instagram was like D underscore Street. And yeah, so I was yeah. like, mine will be D underscore Sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started rapping. I was like, ah, dude, we're just, just be, keep it. Why not? We're just yeah. be D Sidewalk. Yeah. But bro, I got flamed. Yeah. Like I got like I, I got I got I got like a year into posting music online yeah. and like the music was not good. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. music representing D Sidewalk. Yeah. Maybe I'll leak it when like. Things started to really take yeah, off yeah, yeah. and just like just to fuck around. Yeah. But it was not good. Okay. And yeah. it was like very meme -y and like yeah. like man, if people got a hold of it, they would just like <laughs> they would be like the TikTok sounds that are just really yeah. atrocious. And, and part of me wants to leak it just to inspire yeah. people. Yeah. But yeah, I was getting flamed. So I changed it to DSXD3, which okay. was D side. Okay. And so D side, but it was DSXD3. So yeah. nobody remembered DSXD3, but yeah. the but the reasoning behind that name was D side. So it was still like D sidewalk, mm. but I put the X in there for XXX Tentacion mm. because he had just passed away yeah. like a couple months before, and like he really inspired me. Mm -hmm. I put the three because I was like, bad things come in threes. Mm -hmm. I was trying to be edgy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I was D, I was DSX D three for like for like three years, okay. and things started to do really well, and I was really starting to kind of take off. Mm -hmm. But nobody remembered my name, mm -hmm. so like they would hear a dope song from me. And I was talking to my buddy Evan Allen. Oh. Um, he's like this kid uh, based out of Washington. He's a little bit younger than me. I think he's like he's like seventeen now. Mm -hmm. but when I met him, he was like he was like fourteen, and I was like sixteen. Um, but I was talking to him one day and he was super great at like branding himself and things like that. And he, he had like these insane graphic designers and everything. And I'm talking to him and I'm like, bro, like, why do you think people are not listening to my music? Like, and he had like, he, he had like a huge following mm -hmm. and he was like, he was like, well, I just don't think people remember your name. Mm -hmm. And cause he's like, it's like, it's a bunch of letters and shit. Like mm -hmm. it's too weird. So we sat there and we brainstormed for like. For like I want to say like 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, ah, oh, like I thought about changing it to, I don't, I don't remember like the ideas, but nothing, nothing good mm -hmm. like really came of it. But there's this clip, and when I when I start producing, I'm gonna use it as my tag. Mm -hmm. It's of X saying deep side, and it sounded oh, like, wow. it, and I thought it was him saying D side. Yeah. But it, but like it's deep side because wow. deep side deep side is a place in Florida. Wow. It's like it's like in Broward County. It's like it's like that's a hood. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. it's like a hood in yeah in, uh, Florida. Yeah, and so I was like, oh, deep side, and then I was yeah. like, deep side, deep side, and I looked up deep side. There's a boy band called Deep Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I can't do deep side just by itself. Yeah. So I threw the dollar sign in there because yeah. we talk money. But yeah, there's like a there's like a clip of X saying deep side. I was like that's, that's cool. That's perfect. And I used it as my tag when I was I thought I was saying deep side. Yeah. But I was like, no, he said deep side. Deep side. And that's I was like cool. I was like, okay, this is just God. You yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> so and then I made it all caps and I put yeah. a dollar sign. And then the, the lowercase I yeah. It's actually like a fuck up because okay. distro kid, yeah. like I was trying to distribute music with D side with just a dollar sign and then the I D E in caps. Yeah. But it just put it as a lowercase I. Okay. I, was like, I was like, fuck <laughs> it. Like if people ask, we could just say it's like an upside down exclamation point. Yeah. But nah, I was just distro kid just that's cool, man. I, I wanna change it if I like get signed or something. Yeah. But, no, that's know. that's cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> and that's cool. I like the connection with X X and the and mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. All right, all right. Well okay. Yeah, man, that was my hero growing up. No doubt. All right, so um one of your latest singles, right? It's called Slide. Yeah. Right? I love the song, I love the video. 
everything's hella dope, even the video, like, you know, it's uh, it's about uh, a model doing her thing, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, who created the concept of the video? Oh, she's great, man. Her name is Visuals by Phi. Okay. Uh, she she came up with the whole thing herself. And yeah. I, just, I really just funded it. And I was so, like, she, she was like, oh, going to do a video for, I'm not going to say her price because they've changed. So yeah. I don't want people hitting her up. Yeah, yeah. But there was a studio that we could rent out for like, she sent me to the studio in Baltimore. Yeah. She's like, okay, let's rent this out. And she's yeah. also like, let's hire a model. I was like, I never, I don't know how to hire a model. Yeah. <laughs> so she sends yeah. me, she sends me like these lists and uh, the model, her name is Dania Giselle. Okay. And she is like absolutely talented, man. She's yeah. got like a, I think she's got a degree in performing arts. She's, wow. a beautiful, she's a beautiful singer, beautiful girl. She's very kind, um, and so we picked her. She hired. She shows up with all these outfits. I'm I'm just in like shorts, and yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I was in forces and a jacket. Yeah. I, I I had a guy reach out to me recently and tell me like style things. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> it's like, bro, like that's cool though. The that's outfit cool. was whack, yeah. but yeah, she she came up with the whole concept herself. Um, most of the videographers I work with, yeah. I kind of just let them. That's cool. I let them have fun with it. Yeah. I'm like oh, I'm like, what idea do you have? And she she came up with a whole storyboard, and that's that's what happened with uh, with Von Bo, uh, with Vaughn's video mm -hmm. that we did for Too Late. Mm -hmm. um, I was like Vaughn, just I want you to come up with a story mm -hmm. concept. You know, I paid him for the video, and I was like, okay, just come up with something. Yeah, because like, well, it's pretty dope though. It's I pretty want, dope. Yeah. Like when I work with somebody, yeah. I want them to be creative too, yes. especially especially videographers, because yes. because the, I feel like the more passionate somebody is about yes. the project they're doing with me. Yes. The better the product will be. So I was like, yes. let me just let know, them be an artist. Let them let them yeah. create. You yeah. know, and I I don't think Fi ever had anybody done that before. Yeah. And she did an amazing job. And she, yeah, because a lot of people don't. Yeah, they don't understand that that videographers are also artists, artists. as well. Yeah, yeah. Let, let them paint. You know, what I'm saying let them paint their art, and it's like yeah, that's awesome that you do that. Yeah, but the video overall is pretty dope. So. All right, man. So like I just mentioned, right? Slide is one of your latest things, right? Mm -hmm. Now uh, let's highlight one of your old. Uh, well, one of your older projects, right? Mm -hmm. um, this song is called uh, Purple Heart. Yeah. Right. What I did notice about the video is that it's animated, right? But it's animated like like anime. Yeah. Right? Like who who like I guess created or who who thought about the animation like to like put that out like man. Uh, so when I was sixteen, yeah, I've had a collective for a while. I've yeah. done I've done a, I've been in a lot of collectives, yeah. right? But my collective is called Westside Queens. Okay. But before that, the precursor to Westside Queens was yeah. this thing called Airport Entertainment. Yeah. And then Airport was from this Call of Duty map. There was like a landing spot that yes. said Airport. Yes, so I was yes, like, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's it. Yeah. Airport Entertainment. Yeah. And I didn't think about it too much. That's I had cool, a bunch man. of artists working with me. Uh, we had this uh, girl, though. She, yeah. she was like a videographer, like effects person. She mainly yeah. did edits. But she was a good friend of mine. And so I was like, hey, do you think you could put together a video? She's like, yeah, I'll do it for like 50 bucks. Mm. It's like, boom. So she, she gets this anime concept. And this was before CapCut. So she had to go through and like write out all the captions, yes. put all the effects. And, and with that song, man, I was, my, I think my ex broke up with me in like yeah. sophomore year of high <laughs> your, school. Your feelings. Yeah, yeah I, was in my, I was in my feelings. I made this yeah. whole album called A Watercolor Show. Yeah. And I called it A Watercolor Show because the, the, the concept was like watercolors mm -hmm. and like can be washed away and I was mm -hmm. like that could be like a like, <laughs> like a relationship. Like I was trying yeah. to be an artist, it was just like really fake. Deep. That's dope though, that's dope, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Purple Heart was yeah. just something I made like in high school. Yeah. Um but the but the video was super great. Wait, 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 do you like anime? <laughs> I like Attack on Titan. Okay, okay. And okay. I like uh, I like I like Attack on Titan. And what's the other one I watch? I like Death Note. Death okay, Note. yeah, Death Note's awesome. Death Note was <laughs> sick, dude. Yeah. De yeah. I, I'm not like a huge anime fan. Yeah. I, I like uh, there's this one called uh, Perfect. There's this one called Perfect Blue. Yeah. And I liked Perfect Blue. It was like really trippy. It was about this pop star, and yeah, she gets yeah, like yeah. replaced. It, it was weird. Like like I watched it when I was in uh, the barracks at Fort Meade, and yeah, I just yeah. was like, "This is insane." Yeah. <laughs> but I'm right. not like a huge fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just thought it was cool because it's like you know the Purple Heart video uh, had the anime stuff, so I don't know. I, just I like ask I it. like the aesthetics of yeah, anime. Like yeah, I like the idea of it, but yeah. I wouldn't like I wouldn't call myself like a huge fan. Yeah, okay. I just like art. That's cool. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, all right, man. So, um, all right, you know how we're talking about Purple Heart and also Slide. Yeah. Right? 
So when you compare them both together and how we were mentioning right now, um, it's kind of like you were in your feels, but also it shows your vulnerable side, you know? So is it important for you as an artist to display your vulnerability in, well, in your art? I don't, I don't look at it like displaying my vulnerability. I think it's just showcasing humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, there, there's art, art is expression, mm -hmm. you know? So when, I, when I'm making music, if I'm mad, you know, I'll make something that represents that emotion, mm -hmm. you know? And, and what I'm, I'm really excited to put out the music that I've been working on, because I've been working on music for about, behind the scenes for like a year, mm -hmm. uh, especially when I was in Baltimore. There was a lot more songs that I made in Baltimore and then I was making songs out here that I've been like paying and going to the studio for. Mm -hmm. And I, I forget that it's not out, that people don't really, haven't heard it yet. Mm -hmm. You know, but the, but the music that I've been working on has been insanely vulnerable, like, like very good. A lot, of, a lot of artist development has been happening behind the scenes that I'm just not showcasing. Yeah. Uh, because I want to take my time with the releases and make them memorable and make them part of, you know, people's lives, mm -hmm. you know. And so... For me, it's like music. My music has always been the soundtrack to my life. So, mm -hmm. so there's different eras of my music for me where I listen to it. I'm like, okay, this is exactly what I was going through at this time. Like, and I, I think about it, and like, so, so I, I want to say for like my vulnerable side, yes, it's important to me, but it's not fake. Like, it's not, it's not because I'm making a vulnerable song because I'm sitting here. I'm like, okay, I need to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, okay, this, this girl really upset me. Or I'm really in my feels right now. Let me sit down and make this mm -hmm. type of song, you know. And, and sometimes I'll sit there and I'm like, I just want to sing. So I'll make up like a hook and I'm just like, okay, then do this. Like I, I made this song. Sipping on a drink. And then I was just like, I was like, okay, I got this melody. Let me just throw this together. Mm -hmm. Create this little quick song. You know, Purple Heart, I really took my time on um, at that time. Because uh, I just got broken up with. It was COVID lockdown. So I was, I was locked in. In my room studio, I had a little desk in my mom's apartment, and I had like a little blue Yeti mic, mm. and I was just sitting there, and I was just rapping. I thought I was gonna make like the most classic, greatest album in the world, thinking it was gonna be like a huge hit. Like I was listening to my Kendrick Lamar, like that lyrical rap, mm. and I was trying to innovate. And like one of the biggest things that's important to me is like trying to push music forward. And I wanted, like I've always wanted to push that music forward, but you know, you get limited by your resources. So, so for me, it was just like, okay, this is, this is how I feel right now. Let me just put this out into the world. And then, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up because you, you, it's like, you're almost monetizing your pain, mm -hmm. but I'm like, if anybody's going to monetize my pain, it's going to be me. Mm -hmm. All right. So in Hotel Valhalla, yeah. right, you say, I just hope that I get signed because I want to be played by millions and billions of kids like me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So why is it important for you to connect with your fans like that? Man, the youth, man, that's the future. Yeah. And like I said, there's so much. Um, I, I spoke about this a little bit earlier, but I want to I'll, I'll go ahead and elaborate on it. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, my, other than my dad, you know, my, my dad was working all the time and he did a great job. Both my parents did. They did an amazing job raising me and you know I, I think i'm a representation of how well that they did you know mm -hmm. being successful and things like that but you know for me when i was when i was alone and stuff like i would look at you know all these things there's a bunch of negativity in the world and there's a lot of you know negative examples for the kids and so so for me speaking to the speaking to the youth and speaking to the kids is like extremely important because because all these rappers that a lot of these people look up to and telling the kids to take drugs mm -hmm telling them to do negative things, shoot people, things like that, man. And, you know, one of the things that's important to me is just it really just being there to talk and, and be a good example, you know, telling them to work hard, you know, showing, also showing people that you, if you have a dream, you can make it happen mm -hmm. because, because that was another thing for me. If I didn't see my heroes, you know, realize their dreams, it, like X, uh, he started from you know nothing and so mm -hmm. watching watching the way that he would speak to the kids and, and how much he actually cared man and, and i know like like when i get a lot of money the the money is not important it's about like the impact so so it's what you do with it and 
And so, like, one of the things I appreciate about people like Mr. Beast and stuff, where they go out into these communities mm -hmm. and they, they might use it for content, but they're still... But still, giving, it's positivity. They're still giving back to these communities yeah. and, and in an industry that's so negative, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it's very important that we don't forget about the kids, you know, and just, and just tell them, like, you know, just because somebody's got depression and they got, like, a bad, you know, life at home or something, it doesn't mean that... We just give up on them. I think I think a lot of times, like one of the things that I wish, you know, my my teachers did a lot more whenever I was in school was, you know, check up on me. Are you okay? Like, do you need this? How can I help you? If I if I had more guidance growing up, I think I would have ended up going to college. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of there's a lot of situations where it felt like you know I I would have wanted somebody to be a, a mentor to me and help mm -hmm. me. And so for me, like, it's important, with, especially with my music, you know, that's something that's going to be a soundtrack to somebody's mm -hmm. life. And, you know, I, I want people to listen to it. Because for me, music has saved my life multiple times. Like, like there's been times where I've, I've felt like I don't know how I can keep going. And then my, my music that I was listening to, the artists that I would listen to, that would be what was getting me through the day. That, was, that would be the times where I just was like, okay, I need, like, this, this is the only thing keeping me keeping me going and my life without music is significantly worse. And so and so music is different compared to movies and TV because because it's always there. Mm -hmm. it, you go to a restaurant, you hear music. You go to, you know, the movies, you, there's mu there's music in the movies. Music is life. Mm -hmm. You know, so so with these kids, man, I, I just wanted to show them like if they if they love something and they, and they have like a dream or something, mm -hmm. man, just just sticking to that and just, you know, giving your all to that. If you can't give your all to, you know, the people around you, people who are negative, man, like that's where greatness is just just being just being as like authentic to what you love and, and fighting for that man in the world they don't support you know, like a lot of people will put you down for trying to stand out and mm -hmm. you know you find something that you love you know people try to take that away from you mm -hmm. they try to block out your shine because they don't have their own shine and somebody else took their shine so you know if my if my legacy is just making music that that inspired like you know a million billion kids to just, you know, do, have a better life, go after what they want and, you know, get out of a bad environment, get out of, you know, depression or, or and empower themselves mm -hmm. or, you know, do something that is going to positively impact their community, positively impact their family. Like that's, that's the legacy that I would want. I, I care more about impact than I care about anything else. Okay. So I'm talking about, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right, man. So, um. Is it important to you to show how diverse you are in your artistry? Definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. I, I love versatility, man. And, and uh, I hate when artists. I it, it, maybe it's a pride thing because I actually am versatile, but I hate when artists are like, "Oh, I'm versatile," and that they act like that gives them value. Mm -hmm. It doesn't because because if you're just versatile for the sake of being versatile, there's no point in it. Mm -hmm. For me. It just shows that I can express myself in different ways, mm -hmm. and I hate I hate just doing the same thing over and over creatively. I feel like that's uninteresting, and also it's just not a good way to express yourself. So, for me, I just look at it and I just be like, man, like this sound is really cool. Like let let's see where we can go with this, and that's that's how I learned how to sing. That's how I learned how to do you know R and B and do rock music and yes. do all different types of things. And yeah, because you hit on so many different things. It's pretty dope. And I'll have to come back on the podcast yeah. after I have like some more records out that are like uh, more because I've been doing that behind yeah. the scenes, like experimenting a lot. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll love to have you back out. to promote that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to I'll that's have to come cool. back because because the, that has always been a thing, and, and that's that's been one of the things that has never changed about me yeah, as artists. Cool. All right, man. Um, obviously we. we We've been talking about XXX Tentacion, right? And you know, you also have a single and you dedicated to him. However, um, I also noticed that uh, his mom has showed you love. Uh, can you elaborate on that? 